Okay, this is a differentiation question. It's a maximizing question. And this is relevant to GCSE further mathematics or AS level mathematics. So it says the share price in P pounds of a company since 2010 can be modeled by, I'll just write this down. It was P was equal to nine plus 15T minus three T squared, where T is a time in years since 2010. Work out the maximum share price since 2010, proving it is maximum. Okay, if you had y and it was a function of x, to find the maximum, you'd find your dy by dx. And first of all, then you would put dy by dx equal to zero. You would then solve it to find an x value. And then what you would do is you would need to test your d2y by dx squared. And if it was maximum, then for a maximum, d2y by dx squared would be equal to zero. And then you would sub your x value back into your or into your y, I should say, uh, to find the corresponding maximum value of y. So that's really what we want to do here. So uh, same idea, but it's not y in terms of x, it's p in terms of t. So the first thing we need to do is to find dp by dt. Differentiate your p with respect to t. So that's going to be 15 minus 6t. And this is my second time doing this because I differentiated this incorrectly a minute ago. So just be careful on that. Put your dp by dt equal to zero, which means zero equals 15 minus 6t. 6t then is equal to 15. t then is equal to 15 divided by 6. And 15 divided by 6, that would cancel down to be top and bottom divide by, uh, divide by uh, 5 to give you, sorry, divide by 3 to give you 5 over 2, which is 2.5. Okay. So we've got our value, so this is equivalent to finding this. We then need to do dp, d2p by dt squared. So if you differentiate this thing up here, you'll get minus six, which is less than zero. Therefore, we have proved it's a maximum. This bit is essential. You, uh, you can't just say it is a maximum. You have to say, do the d2p by dt squared. And then what we need to do is find a corresponding p value. So say when, T is equal to 2.5, P is equal to, and you're just putting it back into the original thing up there. So uh, what was the P? Let me just write it down over here. It was 9 plus 15 T minus 3 T squared. So we put it into this thing. So that's going to be 9 plus 15 times 2.5 minus 3 times 2.5 squared. And P is equal to? Uh, 9 plus 15 times 2.5 minus 3 times 2.5 squared. And when I worked that out, I got 27.75. Uh, let me just check that. Yep. Uh, so, and it was bang on 27.75. Uh, uh, if it hadn't been, you would, because it's money, you would round the two decimal places. But that, I think, is us done.